Hello students and parents welcome back to my channel with another maths tutorial video today and I am going to explain you about one of the most important chapter of mathematics that is algebraic expressions and identity. So let's get started. An identity is an equality which is true for all values of the variables. Now I am going to discuss four standard identities which are very useful in factorization and simplification of algebraic expressions. Identity 1 a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Identity 2 a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Identity 3 a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. Identity 4 x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. In my today's video I am going to discuss with you the first two identities. The next two identities I am going to discuss in my next video. So let's get started. Let's see how to solve different types of numerical problems using identity. In the first example, we have to calculate the value of an algebraic expression 2x plus 3y whole square. Here we will apply uh, the formula of identity 1 a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. After doing the algebraic calculations, we will get the answer 4x square plus 12xy plus 9y square. In my second example, here the sum is find the square of 5b minus half. So to find out the square, we have to write 5b minus half whole square means we will calculate as per identity 2 and we will get the deserved value. The value will be like this. After the cancellation, we got the ultimate result 25b square minus 5b plus 1 by 4. In my third example, x minus 1 by x equal to 9, the value is given. We have to find out the value of x square plus 1 by x square. So, to get the desired value, I am just squaring both sides of this given value. x minus 1 by x whole square. As per identity 2, I am writing the value and the right side 9 square means 81. So after cancellation, we got the value x square minus 2 plus 1 by x square will be 81 and x square plus 1 by x square will be 81 plus 2 means 83. That will be the ultimate value of the given expression. Let's discuss another type of sums where the values are in numericals only and you have to evaluate them using identity formulas. 399 whole square you have to break up into 400 minus 1 whole square and as per identity rules you have to evaluate them. We broke the number so that we can use the identity formula here 400 is a and 1 means b so a square minus 2ab plus b square this like we have to evaluate them same as another example is there 97 whole square we have to break up it into 100 minus 3 whole square to use the identity formula So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Mathematics need lots of practice and hard work. So, keep practicing and love your study. Bye-bye students.